and kind of became disillusioned and was part of the Sam's group too, and we were trying to figure out where to go. And, you know, and we could, you know, an organization we could agree with, and he told me about this, and I was really interested to check you guys out, see what you're all about. I'm Helene, and uh, I'm also here with Sam and Lewis. And um, I was a little bit involved with Occupy. I was trying to get involved by um, working with a big part of Sam's group. Um, I don't want to be part of something that involves violence or you know, vandalism. I, I feel like um, starting you know, fire, you know, fire in a car or breaking glass window can lead to other things, and, and in itself is not something I want to be a part of. I'm glad that there's another forum developed. I'm Charlotte. I started out with Occupy with some great enthusiasm uh, when I began. Um, I love the energy of the parts in the There was always a part of me that was waiting for me. You know, and also, I wanted to see uh, what would happen. I joined the Nile Island Sun Conference. And uh, I became disappointed with that because it turned out that not only could we not protest against violence, General Assembly is according to the covenant. It was built into the constitution of the group. We were also prohibited from discussing such things within the caucus itself. And when I overstepped that regulation, other people did. They called the whole committee into one of the institutions. And that was farewell, adios, amigos, for me. And since then, I've been looking for an alternative group. And I have a lot of marches, um, but I began to realize that um, in order to build a mass movement, we really need to have a focus on strategic nonviolence and get the word out to the public that that is our focus because I felt like strategically there, was, there were a few people in Occupy SF who had this philosophy that you know, where we're going to bring on the revolution by having like a few very militant people go around and smash windows. I'm not saying that anyone in Occupy SF actually did that, but there were some people who were acting as apologists for it. And I felt like um, if we are going to bring in the masses, and that's how I always viewed Occupy from the start, was this is finally the mass movement that the hearts and minds of the people were going to come together and we're going to have millions of people out into the street. And um, I realized that with the direction that things were going and the refusal to adopt a nonviolence Sorry about that, viewers. that that was not going to happen, that it was affecting this movement. And that's why I joined with um, a few of the people, um, Janet, Jane, Peter, and we basically started Occupy Bay Area United with an explicit nonviolence focus. Um, and I do want to say um, I'm really glad to see some new faces here. And 
we've been working really hard um, the last three months to do a lot of kind of um, foundation work in Oval. We have a declaration, we have a nonviolent statement, um, we have a mission statement, and we have a great website, um, and we have a bunch of working groups. Um, but it's been about seven or eight people who have been really driving it, and um, so if there are new people who are willing to kind of like I don't know what the non-corporate term is, but like bottom line, you know, like we had talked about a few meetings ago having a non-violence working group that can kind of go around and um, kind of, again, I don't know what the non-corporate term is, but kind of market non-violence to other groups around the city and say, look, you know, if you want your group to grow, if you want this movement to grow, we really need to have everyone in the city adopt a nonviolent statement. And our nonviolent statement was done, we did it very carefully, very strategically. It's a strategic nonviolent statement. So it doesn't ask anyone to adopt any kind of religious or philosophical or moral view. It basically says in order to grow this movement, we need to have, you know, be focused on strategic nonviolence. And that does not mean that we don't endorse radical action. We just endorse action that doesn't cause indiscriminate property destruction or violence to, you know, human beings or other beings, although that's not specifically in the statement. But um, basically, we, um, we distinguish indiscriminate property destruction from